animals. People think of kettles at Christmas and we give out toys, but there's so much more. And I'm struck by the social service and the human need aspect. Um, and it's, it reminds me of why I like to do this. We always really wanted to do all four buildings at the same time because we didn't want to be building for the next 10 to 15 years. One of those buildings was our Harbor Light Center, which is downtown, which is an institution that focuses on families and human trafficking um, as a shelter. People do not enter the shelter system until they cannot stay with a family member, they cannot stay with a friend. It means they have no resources. So by the time they hit this facility, they have nothing left. Hope is a, a spiritual function of our religious faith, but it's also a function of humanity. Without hope, there's despair. And we really felt the need to bring the families in their own facility and have a, a place for the children to play. It's very important that this shelter is centrally located to the city because we bring people in from all over the county. Temple Core in Collinwood, a whole new community center was built there. A very similar building was built in East Cleveland where we've never had a presence before. My name is Kendra Adams and I'm the receptionist at the Salvation Army. I take the intakes for the caseworker. To come here, to be here, to look at people, to see them as um, opportunities is the bare minimum I can do for what society, people in society did for me. I grew up in a devastated inner city and I would go to the Salvation Army for after school every day and I stayed out of trouble. And when I came to the Salvation Army, they, you know, motivated me, make me believe myself again. It just changed my life completely. It just made me into the person I was meant to be. We tend to invest in people to say that you can be more than what you are, you can be more than what society says you are, and you are more than the measure of your past failings or successes. A veteran came in the other day and he didn't know where to go, so I called the food pantry coordinator and she made him a personal bag and he cried. And he was so happy that he could go somewhere and get some food. And then we did a renovation of this facility here in West Park. We do have one of the largest food pantries in the area. I mean, just yesterday alone, we serviced over 112 families. Our average is about 40 to 50 families a day. We try to give them a hand up, not a handout. And so we try not to just give them just a bag of food, but we want to offer them other services that we provide here. We have a family that came to us through our learning center. The mother was severely beaten by the father. So we were able to embrace around that family. Um, we've become a very big part of that family. We try our best to work with people to have them see in themselves what they don't see that surrounds them. What we didn't think we would be able to do was raise the money in time. I didn't know about the Cleveland Development Advisors, and when I went to them, I really didn't even know what I was asking for. I was just saying, I need some help. So there were plenty of supporters that people don't have a great deal of knowledge about. Cleveland Development Advisors really have come to champion and advocate for our project. To investors, they've been able to help us tell our story to people who don't see the story happening on a daily basis in Cleveland. And they just stepped in a really powerful way. Not only did they invest in our project, but they've continued to follow us, they continue to give us guidance. They've been absolutely amazing. So that gives me a unique perspective on how I function here at the Salvation Army. There is no life that's not worth the effort. With the help of new market tax credits, we were able to get a larger chunk of money in, and we knew that we were going to hit our goal quicker, so we were able to do all four buildings at the same time. It was a game changer for the Salvation Army. We can reclaim the land and renovate and reimagine. Why can't we do the same with people? Why can't we do the same with lives?